Good afternoon. Welcome back to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel. This here is a diffused silver Ford Torneo Custom 9-seater shuttle bus. It is the long wheelbase, so it's the L2 equivalent. We have the 130 PS Eco Blue engine, and that 130 PS is transmitted through a lovely six-speed manual gearbox. The vehicle itself has done just over 4,400 miles, and we're registered on a 71 plate, so we've got Ford warranty until September 2024. Okay, let's take you round these lovely nine-seater shuttle buses. So the first point to note, we've got some lovely LED daytime runners. They might appear to be flashing in your video. That's, again, because of the frequency the video is recorded in. So let me assure you, they are not flashing in real life. So we've got some nice large headlights, indicators just below them, and some good quality headlights in there as well. Just below, front fog lights, and we've got front parking sensors. You can follow those parking sensors all the way around the front bumper until we get to the offside front wheel, which is a 16-inch steel wheel with some lovely silver covers on them and on the outside. And as you can see, we've got a continental tire on there. It's only done 4,000 miles of work, so they've got thousands and thousands of trouble-free motoring on those, yeah. And we have a little bit of light here, so we can try and get some nice reflections um, the best we can. Rear privacy glass, we've got a step on the offside and the near side of the vehicle. Again, it's a longer wheelbase variant, so this section is the longer bit. This is uh, stretched out a bit to give you nine seats in the rear of this vehicle. So as we're making our way around to the rear now, we've got rear parking sensors complemented with a rear vision camera. We'll have a look under the boot in just a second, or tailgate even, uh, but we'll just do the near side first. So once again, rear privacy glass, we've got a sliding opening door on the near side as well. And we'll just try and get you some nice reflections in all the panels around this vehicle. Arriving now at the near side front wheel, again, nice and immaculately clean. Fantastic tread on those tyres. Again, the side step. We'll go in there in a second. That's fine, we're going to do the rear first. So we're going to open up the tailgate. Like so. So again, these vehicles aren't really designed to have much boot space because the compromise for that is nine seats. But what we do have under here is a spare wheel so i thought i'd make you aware of that and that releases from just inside this little cover here okay so that's a bit of that under this unit here is your secondary blower motor for the rear air conditioning unit i'll show you that in a second but being a nine seater it's nice to have somewhere to stand and watch whilst you're keeping nice and dry so you know it's a very large tailgate but it can also be a nice weather shelter as well if you like you know people make many uses out of them just you know, spark the imagination for you there spark the imagination okay so let's look inside the rear of the vehicle uh, so the main reason i'm guessing you're watching this video all together so what do we have in the rear of these shuttles so begin two seats at the front two more here two more behind it and three at the rear to give you nine seats in total these two middle seats here, as you can see, are connected together, like so. They do fold backwards, there we go, like so. And we do have two ISO fixing points here, and or two, or one there, and one there, and just below it, we got one there as well. So let me jump in and show you in the rear of this vehicle. Okay, so once again, the Valis has gone to town with the mats here, because they are so clean, these vehicles, and we don't want to mess them up. So again, another ISO fixing seat on this one here. So that's three ISO fixings in total. And you can see the interior has like a two-tone cloth. So you've got a dark charcoal gray with some lighter gray just beneath it there as well. For the rear passenger's convenience, we have two USB ports here, two the other side, two on the back of the handbrakes, that's six in total at the rear, and our Right rear passenger is also going to have a 12 volt socket as well. So it's easy to buy a little adapter and you've got USBs all the way around. If I sit on this seat, we can talk the rear air conditioning. So I mentioned before at the rear of the vehicle, that blower motor, and this is going to control the air conditioning from here. So you've got four different fan speeds and temperature control 
as well, along with vent control to go with it. Okay, so that's up there. Also up there, we have the rear speaker system as well. And that blends in with the vents. So that looks marvelous. Okay, so that's the rear of the vehicle. So just to, just to confirm, two, two, and three there as well. Okay, so if you did have a seven side for the team, perfect. Okay, so we have also worth noting, remote central locking here. So it can be locked, unlocked, and do the tailgate all on the key. We do have some really high quality locking on here, so it's only gonna be you coming inside. Two electric front windows and mirror controls can be found on the door hand, uh, door card along with the interior locking next to the door handle. I mentioned earlier we have a spare wheel, pop that in there, and all of your relevant jacks and tools can be found underneath this little panel underneath the driver's seat there. So you're never going to be stuck uh, with a puncture. Show you a bit of the driver's seat now. Again, the two tone cloth dark charcoal lighter in the middle we have a, a front till we have a, a height adjustment a rear till and also a forward and backwards underneath there as well okay let's jump in get out that wind okay so again we have a key foot on the clutch turn that round we've got power let me just turn down the radio we've got radio 2 shouting at me Okay, to begin with, let's look at the, the driver display there. So RPM is found to the left, miles per hour or speedo is at the right. At the bottom of the screen, coolant temperature and a fuel gauge. As you can see, it's even got a half tank in it already. So we can okay that message. Uh, so we've done 4,359.2 miles. We've got different chip computers uh, through there, digital fuel, fuel gauge, instantaneous MPG, digital speedo, we've got start stop, and we've got seatbelt warning. And along with digital tire pressure readout as well, which is also very handy to have on board. Once to come outwards now, that is all controlled using the arrows on the right hand side of the steering wheel. Just below that we have some media connectivity, so voice command, pick up and decline phone call, along with previous and next song. Around to this side is where you'll find your cruise control. A nice ergonomic place to have it. So when you've knocked the camera for six, so when you've got your hands on the steering wheel, it's a really nice area just to quickly readjust speed, adjust your limiter, and cancel it all together. So it's a really nice user-friendly place to have it. Just below that little parade of buttons, we have some volume controls also. Move to the right slightly now. We have a little parade of buttons there. One for trash control, a mode button, and a parking sensors override off switch. I to click on the mode button, we can go from normal to eco. So it's going to give you a nice economic drive when you're going along. So in this day and age, it's good to watch the fuel economy. Okay, in the middle of this console here, we have a sync module. It's the updated one. We've got the dark blue band at the bottom of the screen there. Well, you might notice it doesn't have Apple CarPlay. What we do have on here, if I just swipe right, is Apple CarPlay. So we've got Apple CarPlay on this model. So if you do have an Apple phone, plug your phone in and take full advantage of your Apple software. And that will include such as navigation. So you can plug your phone in and take full access of the software on your phone. I'll, I'll, I'll upload a uh, picture of my phone connected to the Apple CarPlay so you get a little taster of what it looks like. But it's a fantastic bit of software. All your audio is on the left hand side. Go through your sources, AM, FM, DAB, and your Bluetooth. Let's not forget Bluetooth. If you don't have a, a, an Android, if you don't have an Android or a, an Apple phone, connect your phone via Bluetooth. Still use all the voice commands, still use all your pick up and decline phone call uh, functions, and it will also download your phone book inside this vehicle. So it'd be nice and user friendly just to click on the number you want to call and obviously it keeps your hands off the steering off your hands off the phone even keep your hands on the steering wheel please keep your hands on the steering wheel just keep them off the phone if we go south on the screen now we can see your heating ventilation and air conditioning controls for the front of the vehicle so we've covered the rear ones we have a fan speed we have a temperature gauge like so a max air conditioning a max uh, front screen clear 
That is complemented with heated front seats either side and an electronically heated front screen. So in those winter months where it's nice and frosty outside, you're going to be defrosting the vehicle in no time at all. Okay, I said earlier, 6B manual gearbox, and there is the gear stick itself. If we continue, one of my favourite or most important things in a vehicle is cup holders. You need to have a cup holder. So what have they given you? Door cards that are nice and deep filling. You've got sections there for all of your wallet, change, anything you like. Down there, as you can see, is a deep filling bottle holder, drinks holder, and the same applies there. Now these are symmetrical either side, so I'm showing you this one because I'm close to it, obviously. So you've got nice filling, deep filling door cards, bottle holder, and we've also got some actual cup holders with uh, spring-loaded tension bits there to keep your drinks nice and secure. Let's finish off by talking about USBs. We have six in total in the rear. That one makes seven, and up here we have a personal one for the driver as well, so we can keep that a little secret. No one needs to know about that. Thank you very much for watching this video. These shuttles are heavily in demand, so if you are interested, please give one of the sales team a call this weekend. 01376 550 899. We look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye-bye for now.